Hey guys, I wanted to make a little bit of a impromptu um, pre-race video. I have a race in two days, a 10k race in Oslo, Centrumslöpe. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about how the build-up has been going and what my expectations are for the race. So we're just going to go straight into it, uh, no editing, just uh, because you know I'm focused now on my recovery over the last couple of days, just want to peak and, and taper down and, and feel fresh on race day. So today's Thursday and yeah, I just want to relax and not edit a huge video. So we're just going to talk straight from the heart and, and, and just have a discussion around what's, what's going on. So I, um, I'm home in Norway, obviously I came home from this. I haven't been made, making that many videos because there's just been so much going on, but I'm on it, I'm on it, and here's one video at least. Um, been training all winter in Nice, as you know pretty well. If you follow my training on Strava uh, or Instagram, there's links in the description, you'll know sort of what's been going on. It's been up and down, you know. Some weeks have been great, some weeks have been difficult. I've had niggles, small injuries, uh, and I also struggled with... Um, kind of being sick a couple of times in this not really though but i think i have like an allergic reaction to either pollen or or like dust in the air but anyway that's a long discussion so point is up and down but overall been going pretty well i would say uh, over the last 12 weeks been doing um, less volume so lower hours lower kilometrage mileage um, but more intensity so I've been doing more quality sessions more uh, faster paced running I haven't been doing the fastest type of running kind of like speed training because I'm just very injury prone and I don't want to take that risk so I've been sort of mostly doing either threshold work or um, vo2 max work right those two sort of paces intensities that's where I've been focusing my energy not really been doing many long runs either I've had a couple of two hour long runs but no uh, no regular long runs per se just those quality sessions and a lot of easy uh, running in between and that's been going well I've been seeing definite improvements in my vo2 max I guess in my ability to just sustain a fairly high intensity for for longer and and to run fast my legs have been well as i said struggling a little bit with some injuries now and then but uh, i think i feel like they have uh, adapted pretty well and i'm now able to tolerate a pretty fast pace on a regular basis without uh, any pain which is really good i'm just going to check that it's still filming um that would, that's always like the worst when you're making a video and it stops filming Normally I would just edit that out, but anyway. Um, so yeah, my legs have been handling it and yeah, things have been going well. I came back to Norway, got pretty fatigued from the trip. I always get tired after just uh, traveling, not just the, the travel itself, but also the day before, right? Cleaning the whole apartment in this, spending eight hours cleaning and packing and then the whole travel day, etc. So. Got a little tired, missed a couple of days of training there. Um, sort of managed to pick it up again though. Uh, still struggling a bit with that sort of pollen reaction or whatever it was, al allergy fatigue situation. Uh, but uh, did a 3000 meter with my friend Thomas, uh, the guy who filmed my uh, video for the, for the half marathon last year. Um, you can check out the video here. Um, so did a 3000 meter with him, not all out, just controlled effort. And then the week after I did a 5k, road 5k, and I ran 1846, which was not an all out effort. I could probably do 1830, I think. Okay, that was a sort of tune up race and then struggled again a little bit after that race, tired, uh, not really feeling great, uh, but was able to pick it up again last week and had a solid week with a good solid quality session there and then this week is basically tapering down for the 10k i did a tune-up uh, workout two days ago just like a very light threshold workout and now it's just 
tapering down, taking it easy. Today is a rest day, two days out, and tomorrow is just an easy shakeout run, just a jog, 20 minutes, uh, some strides, nothing special. And then Saturday, the race is at 4 p.m. So, yeah, I mean, no buildup is perfect. I don't think anyone ever actually has a perfect buildup. Uh, well, sometimes it probably does happen, right? But most people, most athletes uh, will experience some up and downs on their buildups. Uh, there are unexpected things that happen. Performance is not always as you would expect. Uh, but, you know, we chip away at it steadily, slowly but surely we, we move forward. I do feel like I am quite a lot fitter than I was back in September when I ran my 128 half marathon. I think I would be, you know, able to go probably sub 125 at this point. Um, yeah, anyway, ready to race. Just want to get out there and hammer the pavement, uh, which is going to be fun, as always. It's uh, not a flat course. It's in Oslo. It's called Centrumslöpe, which basically means the city center run. Um, it's uh, 10k, uh, 95 meters of elevation. What's that in feet? 300 feet, something like that, um, over the course of the, of the whole route. Um, up and down a little bit, uh, so you know it's not as fast as a completely flat course, but it's still fairly fast. Um, the temperature looks, today it looks okay. A few days ago, it looked like it was going to get a little warm with the sun and about 16 degrees Celsius. That would be on the warm side of optimal. Now it looks pretty good with 12 degrees, uh, some, some clouds and a little bit of sun maybe. It'll be fine. Um, my expectations are, well, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. It's one of the biggest races in Norway. I have my parents and my brother with me there. They're going to be cheering me on and... Uh, looking, uh, spectating, and of course Thomas is going to be on his uh, scooter, uh, not doing a vlog this time, but just taking some pictures and spectating and enjoying himself, um, cheering me on. So that'll be fun. Um, I have two of my coaching clients also running the race, so I'll be sort of invested in their experience as well, uh, see how that goes. We've been training uh, for this race for a few months now, not just for me, but also for them. So that's cool. Um, by the way, if you're interested in coaching, of course, uh, there's a link in the description. I offer online coaching for uh, runners on all levels. So what am I expecting in terms of time, performance? Well, the faster the better, of course. Uh, I'm sort of attached to the idea of going sub 39, so seeing 38 there. The thing is, if I'm going to go sub-39, I would probably need to be almost in sub-38 shape on a flat course, right? Right? I mean, if I'm going to do sub-39 on a, on a sore of a hilly course, it's not a hilly course, but it's, it's not flat. Maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe a minute slower than a flat course. Well, then that means I need to be in sub-38 shape or at least close to 38 minutes to be able to go sub-39. And some days, on my optimistic days, I think I am in that shape. I mean, 18.30 for a 5K, that means I'm pr pretty close to 38, you know, shape in, in a 10K. Um, I didn't actually run 18.30, though. I ran 18.46, but I, I feel like I had more in the tank. I didn't give it everything I had. So I'm sort of operating with the idea that I am good for 18.30 at the moment. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to go sub-38, that's for sure, but I do want to go sub-39. If not, at least I'll go sub-40. <clears throat> that I'm pretty certain about. So, but you know, anything can happen on race day. So I'm just going to go there and just give it my best shot and see what I've got on race day. That's, that's all you can do, really. So tomorrow I'm going to lay down a pace plan. I'm probably going to start with the first half uh, being slower, negative split, because the second half is faster and you don't want to sort of burn everything on the first 5k, which is what a lot of people do. Um, even in this race, which has a lot of hills, people just go out too hard. So I, I need to pay atten attention to that and be careful with my pacing. Um, 
and, and then just enjoy myself and see what I've got on the day, really. Uh, I'm, I'm progressing, you know, my, my fitness is going forward. I'm breaking new ground all the time, um, which, uh, you know, is awesome. Most people probably are mostly maintaining their level or maybe slightly progressing. I'm working hard to really break through barriers and r plateau after plateau um, constantly. So I'm very happy about my effort. I'm proud of my effort. I feel like I do a great job. Um, also, also enduring a lot of obstacles, injuries, um, not training errors causing those injuries though. I'm pretty sure that it's just I have certain biomechanical issues uh, w that I won't get into now that are linked to past injuries, etc. That just cause me some problems. Um, but you know, when you're butting up against your uh, capacity or, or your uh, limits all the time trying to break new ground, you're bound to also step over the limit every now and then and obviously that's going to lead to um, over, overloading certain tissues which can lead to injuries again. But I've, I've gotten very good at detecting it early, nipping it in the bud uh, and being smart about how I train. So that's going well and yeah I'm just as I said just progressing, just feel like I am taking new steps all the time and I I am definitely looking forward to going into marathon training. After this race, I'll take a little bit of a break, just a week or two of just no training, perhaps some cycling, um, just do some other stuff and then get back into base training and build a huge base for uh, my fall marathon. So that, that's, that's like my biggest goal this year. I'm not as invested in this 10K, but uh, it's been nice to do some faster stuff. I feel like that that's good for someone like me who's generally doing a lot of just volume and a lot of easy running not to get in some of that very fast stuff as well uh, and now get into marathon training but yeah first of all Saturday race day all right so that's it uh, if you want to follow me along uh, you probably should just follow me on Instagram that's where I post most like daily stories and updates so there's a link in the description you can check out my coaching as well as I mentioned and um, Strava. Strava, of course, that's where I actually post all my training. I, I basically write a, a almost like a blog every day where I just post all my training and write a report. You can read it all there. I just lay it all out there. Um, nothing's hidden. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for um, hanging in there, being part of the Lone Endurance community. I have an ebook coming out very soon. I, I, I know I've been saying that for like a year. But it's actually just around the corner, literally now. I mean, well, not literally around the corner of this building, but you know what I mean. Um, that was a bad joke. So it's there. It's almost done. It's coming out soon. And so stay tuned for that. And I look forward to also a summer of hopefully making more videos. Uh, maybe in another video I can get into all the other stuff going on in my life that sort of just... Uh, makes it difficult for me sometimes to make videos, prioritizing my coaching clients and that sort of thing. But uh, I want to do it all and I will find a way to do it uh, eventually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, give it a like and put a comment down below what you think. Maybe give, get a guess. Guess what you think I'm going to run. Put a time in the comment section and guess my finishing time and then uh, like exact and then we'll... Um, find the winner. I won't be able to give you a um, prize, but uh, yeah, it'll be a fun little game. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you on the other side.